Hi, so I'm here at Brunei International Airport. I have to go catch a flight to KL I'm going to Kuala Lumpur. We're gonna head off and we're gonna go because I'm already late. Turn the lights on. Hello. Oh my. Good morning. This is my face at, what time is it? At nine and I'm supposed to go downstairs for breakfast. I was just doing a little bit of makeup because no one wants to see my ugly ass face. Got Petronas Towers, I got Kale hopping off and we got a little bit of shopping because I got a 5% discount at Sephora. <laughs> We're currently here at the Petronas Twin Towers, right behind me, but it's so tall you cannot see any single part of me. There's a guy behind me taking photos. We're here at KLCC. I really hope you can hear me, but it is very loud. I love KLCC for shopping. Personally, it is like one of my favorite stores because everything is here. There's like a NARS right there. There's a NARS and a MAC and a Sephora. And I brought my Sephora white card. And that's where we're heading out to right now because I get to shop! I know that I shouldn't perpetuate this harmful stereotype about women loving shopping and that it's low-key kind of sexist and I am supporting a capitalist industry. But shopping makes me happy. I shop way too much. Do a little haul when I get back. We're currently here at the Petronas Twin Towers. I'm gonna go up. It's my first time. Oh wow, that's that's terrifying. Ugh. messed up. I can't find the key to my luggage. I thought I was being really smart and locked my luggage before I left because you know didn't want anybody to snoop around including me apparently because I can't find my ducking key and now I can't access a fresh pair of clothes until the engineer comes to literally rip out the key. I do have one shirt that I brought just in case so I'll just wear that and these jeans, which should be all right. Bag is finally open, but the lock is smashed, so I have to get a new one. Oh well. This is what I am wearing for the dinner. I am already late, so we have to go down and have some fun. Very basic outfit today, nothing too crazy. It's just a nice dinner, a nice hoop earring, because it's cute. Hello, editing Bash here. While I was do editing um, the Malaysia vlog and the Miss Shopia vlog, I realized I did not have enough footage for the Miss Shopia hunt. I was too busy actually competing and like wanting to win. So this is instead more like a highlight reel of what we did. So yeah, sorry about that, but hope you enjoy it anyway. Good morning, everybody. I've been in KL for, I think, two days now and today's the 15th it's the miss shop here hunt which i've never heard of until now when they invited me to come and experience it 
Basically, it's my favorite type of adventure because it involves shopping and clothes and buying things. I have about 10 minutes, actually five minutes to eat. I need to eat a really quick cereal, have a bit of coffee, and then we're gonna have to go straight on and sign up and register and do everything. So I'm gonna eat and I'll see you guys in a bit. We're here. We are just registered. We just have to start registrating and do everything. They're gonna tell us the briefing and the rules. It's definitely gonna be a very long day. I did not have enough coffee in my system. Uh, good luck to all of you. The hunt has just started. We're on our way to the pavilion. We're just taking a grab right now. Should be about 10 minutes? Five minutes. Definitely. First stop, pavilion. It's only been 15 minutes since it started and I'm exhausted. Ooh, I'm in decay. I can't tell you what's going on because that would ruin the shopping hunt. Just know that we were going up and down pavilion for about an hour before we finished. How are you feeling? I'll tell you. Yeah, I know. This one more. Yeah, for this one more. For this one more. And then we've got eight more. We took so long. <laughs> yeah, we've been here for about an hour, I'd say. I think so. Yeah, about an yeah. hour. Then we have to go to the next one. This is better lighting. We're currently looking for the logo for VM Visit Malaysia 2019. Uh, 3 2020. Sorry. <laughs> We're done here at Lot 10, we're heading off to Sungai Wang, which is like a shopping mall five minutes away. KL is huge, but they've got so many shopping malls. This is way too tight for my face. I look like an alien. Three down, seven to go. Seven. The hunt was really, really fun, but oh my gosh, I was so tired. We won fourth place though, which is really, really cool. I highly recommend joining the Miss Shopia hunt if you are in KL or even not in KL. Like, I definitely know there were other Bruneians and Indonesians there competing. If you want to, please do check them out. And I think Amirul has a better video of this whole day, so I'll leave a link down below for his channel. I hope you enjoy watching my stories as how much as I love being a part of it, but my legs are very tired now. I cannot move them at all. I'm gonna try and take a shower and then I'm gonna have a very good night's rest and you should too. Go to bed, good night. Mm. Good morning. Ah, oh, do I look tired? Yes, I do. This is now day three. Tourism Malaysia is bringing us to the future of Wellness Spa, which is fantastic because my legs bloody hurt. And then we're going to a chocolate museum. So I'm hoping that today is just gonna be some R&R, &R, just chill and relax. Future of Wellness is an urban wellness sanctuary in Kuala Lumpur and oh my freaking gosh, it looks so cool. They were telling us about their treatments and how holistic it is. They actually gave me my very first massage ever. Usually I don't like people touching me. I relented and Future of Wellness gave me my very first massage ever and I have never felt as calm or as amazing as after that massage. I just did a full body massage and I feel great. We're heading off now to do some sound healing involving crystals. It's a bit of an exercise. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> I can't show you what happens in sound healing, but Ohana Joe 
did such an amazing job with cleansing my mind with sounds. It sounds so odd for me to say, but I'm serious. It made me feel amazing and I don't know how. That was an amazing sound bath. I'll talk to you more about it when I get back home. But I'll I feel more energized after the massage. The massage made me feel very blissful, but this one makes me feel a bit more awake. We had a little bit of a quick lunch at the cafe and then we're gonna be heading off to the chocolate museum. It was actually really, really cool. They showed us the history of chocolate, how it's made. They also showed us some pretty cool sculptures made out of chocolate, which looked delicious, but definitely not edible. And then we ended the little trip with some chocolate tasting, which obviously is my favorite part. It's much darker. Morning. Good morning, everybody. Ah, this is Gunting Premium Outlet. It's a bit of a trek from the city center, but it's hella beautiful. Ah. The Gunting Highlands Premium Outfits basically have everything you need that's designer for the cheap. Go ahead, everything is at least like 30% off. I definitely know I got a lot of high-end products for 70% off, I think, with my passport. We're on our way now to Gunting Highlands using the cable cars. I think it'd be better if there wasn't a haze. You'd see all the pretty skyline. It's beautiful. It's just there's a haze. I've been to Gunting Highlands when I was really, really young, probably when I was like seven or eight with my family. It's been completely renovated and now it looks so cool and so different. I'm definitely gonna go back soon, probably with my family this time. That is an indoor theme park. We've got our wristbands and we're gonna go on some rides. First one we're gonna go on, it's been crazy. I love roller coaster rides. This one was very intense and I was screaming my butt off. I have to mute this or else I cannot monetize this video. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Why did I think that was a good idea? We're going on something called the disco, which I think is just like a ball that spins you around. This is an amazing, amazing ride. I was screaming. However, don't do what I did and go on two very intense spinning rides before you go back down a very long winding road back to the city because you will want to throw up in the back of the car. Good morning. Ooh, can you see me? We're leaving today. It's the last day here in KL. Uh, it's going to be very sad. It's been a very busy five days. Anyway, we're going to be using the new train that goes from KL Central all the way to KL I-8. This is a really new way that I've experienced Kuala Lumpur. Going around to new places that I've never been to, like the Petronas Twin Towers, surprisingly, and the new Gunting Highlands Premium Outlets. I'm really lucky to be going on this trip, and I'm even luckier that I get to go back home. I think it's just been a very, very, very good week. Hello! Uh, it's been a few days now since I came back from Malaysia, and to be honest, I'm still really, really tired. Jump on here real quick just to say thank you to Tourism Malaysia for bringing me around Kuala Lumpur and Miss Shapia Hunt. It was really, really fun. I got to compete. I got to win some prizes, and that was really, really cool. Thank you so much to them for inviting me. It was really, really fun. As well as a huge thank you to Amelia and May for hanging out with us and showing us around Malaysia. Like, they brought us to so many good restaurants and I guarantee you I am coming back when I go to KL, hopefully December, not sure, maybe. Also, huge thank you to our sponsors at Malaysia Airlines, Hotel Royal, Chulan, Kuala Lumpur, Future of Wellness Asia. Thank you very, very, very much. And of course the Chocolate Museum because 
you eat a lot of chocolate. I will leave all their links down below, including Amirul's YouTube channel, because he made a few videos about this whole trip too, which honestly is like way more informative than my vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do the usual things. My name is Bash Harry, and I'll see you soon. Okay, bye! Peace.